Well, good day to everybody out there, and welcome to Chapter 4 of my Naked Brutality playthrough out there in the extreme desert. Meet Flays and Jane, being in a stable situation. So last episode we uh, we made a freeholder title for Jane by building this weird little thingy here. It's nothing special, just a steel wall and a few jar charnakite flagstones, and yeah. Flays is doing some art, because I started to realize that I can't be selling uh, off components forever, so we made use of these uh, gemstones here and started to make some sculptures. Flays turned out to be quite a uh, talented artist. I totally forgot about that and now it turns to be uh, quite a boon. And uh, also I did some thinking about the future of Baron Rock. So we, we started up, up here. I started up here mainly because I had a, an opportunity to uh, build my cave right next to a steel uh, deposit and uh, there was machinery over here. So that made this spot to the uh, the ideal choice when I, when I just stranded here. But we're not stranded anymore, we're starting to live here. So I figured I need a better spot for the base because I'm gonna show it a little bit more clearly here. When I uh, pull up the walls here, as you can see, we're really close to the border of the map. I don't like that too much. Um, if I build up my base, like here and there, and this area here, um, I will be uh, facing enemies coming from the border of the map, like, immediately. So, chances might be that there are attackers on this side that I can't uh, really fight well directly. Holy crap, that green uh, floor. Sorry. Got distracted. Um... So, long story short, I don't like this spot because it's hard. To, it, it could be hard to defend in a ba um, uh, situation of bad luck. So I've noticed this patch here. If I draw, if I might draw your p everybody's attention on this area here, something like that. Um, we have two geothermal uh, sources of power in here, and also little uh, rocks that interconnect pretty nice with walls to wall ourselves off. There is also arable soil in this area I can use to uh, do more agriculture. And uh, I guess I can make something out of these ruins as well. Lots of chunks lying around in this area as well. So as far as barren rock goes, I think that's, that's one of the best spots to settle on. Um, there are some areas that are similarly interesting, but they all end up being pretty close to the... Uh, um, Corn, uh, to the borders of the map. Sorry, sometimes I'm missing words. That happens. Um, so this spot here really looked quite nicely to me. I'm not sh uh, definitely sure if I go if I'm going to expand more into this direction or more into that direction, but that doesn't matter too much because we will start here. So long story short, um, I just wanted to explain my decisions a little bit because I really like to think a lot about where I build, how I build, and what I build. I don't know how, how you guys are doing that. How much planning are you investing into your bases beforehand? Please feel free to leave me a comment. I'm really curious because I've noticed that everybody plays this game a little bit different there and I always am hungry for inspirations and ideas. So, enough of that. This area here uh, will be the next point where I will be um, putting up the Stonecutter's Workshop. Because I figure that I want to um, cut the stones as close as pro possible to the area where I want to build. And uh, it's about time to clear out this cave here. I don't know about the future of this place. This is going to be the absolute outer border of my uh, colony, so... I don't think that this will be a living quarter anymore in the long run, so... The crazy beast. Okay, a trader is calling. A wild British shorthair cat is hunting him. He wants to draw the beast away from him. So, wait a sec. This guy wants to give me 75 hyperweave for killing off a wild British shorthair cat? I'm on, man. Come over here. I'm gonna take care of that kitty, my friend. <laughs> I don't quite understand, but I don't quite care. <laughs> There's kitten on the meal again. Oh well. In real, in reality, you wouldn't want to eat a cat. It's everything uh, I I've heard of uh, eating predators is a really bad idea. They taste like crap. 
I don't know if that's true. I never tried that. I love my kittens, but yeah. So much about that. We're going to eat it anyway. So how will that work? It arrives in 20 hours. I'll have plenty of time to prepare myself for that British short hair kitten. It's singular. I was checking out if I was missing out the point and there will be an army of kittens there and I'll die horribly. But no. The quest definitely says it's going to be one cat. Alright. Whatever. Um, with Flays doing more and more art, um, there will be the necessity of another uh, caravan quite shortly because I want to sell off a little bit stuff, a little bit of stuff, and uh, try to earn myself some money to fight, uh, to buy some assault rifle or something fancy like that. Isolation for Flays. Well, that sounds fancy. On this carving is an image of Strick Flays polishing the surface of a small sculpture with a satisfied expression on his face. The small sculpture glows a soft white. The scene takes place inside a town built near a field. This illustration relates to Flays completing work on a small sculpture on 3rd of September. So he, he was so damn inspired that he literally made a work of art about the last work of art he did. This guy is either severely narcissistic or uninspired or both. I love it. This is such a. Uh, I think we should uh, we should sell those as a as a uh, as a couple. Okay. Can't remember which one was the first one. <laughs> God, that's so stupid. <laughs> but somehow I think it's also terribly funny. Um, let's continue, shall we? So, what about my steel and component, uh... Stockpiles, sorry. Sometimes thinking and talking don't go hand in hand. Um, I just decided that I need to, uh, dig out a little bit of more machinery, because I want to, uh bring down another wind turbine. Yeah, there's the ancient danger. I expected as much. I want to bring a wind turbine down to this area here as well, together with an uh with a battery housing like this here. Royal visitor. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh What is this the uh Royal visitor? I thought this uh ending quest would it would be Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is the ending quest, and it uh, had a different name back then. It was uh, not a royal visitor. It was Royal Ascend. Okay. Did they update that today? I don't know. Alrighty. Wood area. We're far away from that. Housing a Stellark in here. <laughs> Imagine. I think he'll run away. Oh no, I think he'll he wouldn't even land his shuttlecraft here. <laughs> I guess that's what we, what would be happening. So, um let's draw down the plans. Um I'll build my next power generation uh here. And then we're going to be yeah Okay, it's for the future, not now. Um, we're gonna drop down some more battery housing, like I said. So, really nothing special. Just big enough that uh, two batteries can live in there. Oh, I think that's the British, uh, that's the British short hair cat. Yeah! There we go. Meow! Okay. We're gonna make short work out of that in a minute when I uh when I'm done planning this thingy here. I was busy right now. I don't have time for you yet, cat. Uh, we're gonna forbid that one for now because I don't want to have that exploding in the rain. <laughs> I wonder if uh, out here you might actually build them without uh without thinking. All right, and then we're gonna draw down some power lines over here. Okay, now we're ready to take down the CAD. Um, 
are you guys quite okay to do that? Oh, well. Okay, enough. The fight won't be lasting long anyways. So I'm gonna let uh, Flaze is the melee guy and Jane wasn't able to melee at all, right? Right. So again, this is this is might be this is absolute uh, <laughs> overkill what I'm doing here to uh, let Flaze pick up that knife to make sure he has it in inventory. But um, I like to cultivate these uh, these habits to make things right because this is a basically a workaround to. Uh, um, improvise the simple sidearms mod, so the cat takes a different way. Because you can't uh, have sidearms uh, in vanilla, but you can carry another weapon with you, and uh, well, that's an option to use it. So even if you weren't men hunting, gotta say, would still eat you. So I'm dropping the knife, equipping it now, and. Sending Flays to tank that kitten. And that's that. Alright. So, let's see if he ever uh, will haul it, uh, throw it away then, but uh, we're gonna see. Hyperweave! This, is, this feels very rewarding. Well, undeservedly rewarding, but uh... Life out here is brutal enough, my friends, so I don't care if I'm getting some unfair advantage here. A royal tribute collector, so since I'm not having any uh, gold here, can't do anything about that. Gila monster eggs, unfertilized. Yum. So one good thing about eggs is they're having some really, really high nutrition value. So. All right. Obviously, food ain't a problem anymore. I really didn't expect that to happen that quickly, but uh, obviously it did. I don't want to complain. Life out here is still hard enough. The main issue out here is that there's just nothing here. <laughs> Except for stones and some minerals. I'm happy that at least these uh, resources are available because it really would uh, be a lot harder but apart from that I mean we're 41 days in and what do I have achieved so far I mean this feels like an insane achievement but is it really not at all okay guys we are having a animal migration of ostriches ostriches uh, how the hell do I pronounce that I don't know um and we're having a royal tribute collector here, so that's the ideal uh, moment to just get towards these stupid birds and shoot at them. Possibly also scream at them and taunt them and uh, do everything you can that they want to attack you. There we go. Because uh, I ha I'm having a lot of people here that will take care of the problem. Because the moment those uh, stupid birds start attacking uh, those high-tech people, um, the fight is on them. And all this food is going to be in our pockets. There we go. This was uh, the best timing ever <laughs> to have that ostrich migration. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, we're, we're in a good spot here. Hmm. <laughs> wonderful enjoying this run so much it's everything feels so triumphal here the thing is just uh you wouldn't be uh i wouldn't be that happy about these little uh successes in a normal vanilla environment because you know <laughs> here this is uh i don't know what can i say we're having meat for i don't know how long and uh i'm having so much leather now and this is just perfect. <laughs> I love having stockpiles, so... I can safely uh, increase the amount of uh, meals here. And imagine... Oh, well, I would be able to uh, put up some fine meals if I had the cooking ability to do so. 
So. What? Where did that uh, exotic go? goods trader go? They promised me. <laughs> oh well, what the heck? I guess it's because of those guys. I don't know. Are they enemies? So, enemy of Western. Well, we're not enemies of Widerus. Widerus? Whatever. That's weird. I didn't read the uh, message more closely, so I don't have a clue what was happening there. But I don't think it'll matter too much. Okay, guys, we're. I can't believe it how well this episode goes. Makes me kind of anxious already again. So, I think it's now time to leave the major workload of the cooking into Flay's hands for the simple reason that I want to be able to cook fine meals uh, as soon as possible. Also, with the uh, relocation of my base, there will be other uh, things that I have to do. Alongside with that is a new storehouse area. And tell you what, my friends, this is quite perfect. We're gonna just use the areas that are already uh, there. Okay, that's that. And now let's use the claim tool. Where's the claim tool? There's the claim tool. And uh, we're gonna claim all this. And uh, I think we'll need another door here. So, here we go. Let's lead the power over there as well. And this is going to be the future uh, big stockpile zone for us. I like to use existing ruins. I'm gonna replace those walls along the way maybe. Or maybe not. I haven't. Uh, I haven't made up my mind around that yet. Okay. All right. How far is Flays away from cooking six? Really far. What a pity. Alright. I think the freezer deserves a uh, some lighting by now. Also, I want to connect these uh, power grids. There we go. Okay. Since food is not that much of an issue anymore, I can finally uh, do some more uh, long-term uh, long-term plans, which is good. Oh, look at that! A Rio Light urn. Let's uh, re reinstall that in the better in the. Uh, oh. Not in that room. I want that in uh, Flay's bedroom. There we go. So, uh... It seems like uh, I'll be having time to make beautiful things uh, in the coming future. Like floorings and uh, nice things. Comfortable things. Okay. Until then, I think I need another lamp back here. We're not able to do power in there. Oh, well. Let's see. For now, I'll just hope no infest infestations will hit me that, uh, that soon. Right now, I'm just uh, digging out all the steel I can. I'm gonna call out this whole area into as the stockpile zone as well. It's a little uh, stupid to have it like this because everything is cluttered and it's ugly for them, but uh, for now it'll work, you know. So, tell me what, 
I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send Jane over to our friends next door. I wanna sell off this wonderful uh, art collection, Hyperweave. Ah, I'm gonna sell that one too. It's uh, it hurts me a little inside to uh, sell such a wealth of uh, Hyperweave, but right now the advantages of uh, having uh, the money for 75 Hyperweave outweigh the advantages of a uh, mediocre tailored uh, piece of clothing by l by a lot. Like, I have crafting 4. I don't even know when I will have a proper qua uh, crafter here. So, rather sell it and buy something good of that. 4 Rhinos. I'm not gonna touch these. I'm gonna let the tanks uh, walk from south to north here and... Uh, let the tanks be tanks, my friends. These guys would just f straight out kill me. The sledgehammer men are raiding us. It's Fezzik the cave kid. Okay, luckily I'm having the steel knife already in my pocket, so... Let's draft him. And uh, I wish Flezik would be that stupid to uh, wrestle with the rhinos, but I, I don't think he will be. He's lazy, kind, and undergrounder. I wouldn't even hire this guy if I had the chance to get him for free. Alright. There we go. I just hope that Flaze gets in one or two uh, hits on, on this guy. There we go. Nice. So, And a shot into the leg. Makes his moving already a lot uh, worse here. Oh, poor sucker. There we go. I'm sorry, Fezzik, for being not sorry about this. So... You're getting an, uh, uh, a nice one right next to the other guy, I promise. And I'm also going to do it immediately. Feeling sorry for the kid. 17 years old, guys. What a waste. But I might have the resources now to uh, handle prisoners, but I don't have a proper prison cell here. Like, And also, like I said, this guy... He was from the wrong faction. Those sledgehammer men, they won't be learning. Never. They, deserve, they don't deserve our mercy. That's how it works. Sounds pretty brutal, though. Monkey. So what about Monkey? Monkey is incapable of dumb labor carrying and cooking, but he's, well, a pretty good uh, royal, but apart from that, Oh, well, no. I'm not gonna hire this man. Right now, I need more uh, versatile people. Ducks. I don't need ducks. Why should I need ducks? Okay, let's sell off that hyperweave. The end of side club, I don't need anymore either. And now, enjoy Flaces Art. Um, yeah, of course they didn't. They don't have an assault rifle for me. That would have been too much. But I think I'm going to take that pump shotgun, honestly. Or, oh, boys, we're going to take that plus steel spear. Uh, I would like to have both, but that's not possible, sadly. So, it's a tough one. But honestly, the plus steel spear is overall the stronger weapon. And having a good melee weapon for Flaze is something I really, really uh, like to see on my colony. So instead of uh, taking the shotgun, I'll take the spear and uh, some meds. Because I, I almost have none. And I won't be mining out meds here at all. A shotgun, if I'm lucky, I can uh, buy that from a visitor or something like that. Okay, there we go. I can now also allow this building. So, those sculptures sure gave a lot of money. So, let's trade with Bluebird. They 
have an EMP launcher. Oh man, I want to have that. But that's not gonna happen. Okay. So next step here, I want to see as well, since I'm living such a good life right now, I'm gonna be sassy enough to drop down some cotton plants in this area. So ultimately, I should be able to uh, sustain my own uh, clothing. Rain. This uh, looks a little bit weird, but uh, I'm honestly and really dropping down a heater in this colony. It's a simple reason. Uh, cold snaps happen in every run. And having at least one room that's uh, well t uh, well heated is all you need to fend off hypothermia in an area which is normally hot, from my experiences, that is. Okay, Jane is back at Marin Rock. Bringing some nice plasteel spear for Flays. Compared to that poor steel knife, it's quite an upgrade. Okay. So, this is one really, really fine uh, weapon. Plus, steel weaponry is really something good. When you're playing vanilla, one of the best things you can get. Okay. So, Jane will take care of the... Uh, cotton fields now and I also feel like I want to expend the uh, freezer here and Jane will be on crafting duty next up because obviously I need granite blocks because uh, after all this is done I'm gonna pull up some walls around my uh, pull up some walls around my premises like I guess I, I will draw my walls a little bit around these. I want to have those geothermal holds for sure. But roughly this oh, to this and then back to this I guess. Some huge nice desert square. <laughs> okay. So let's fast forward this a little bit. Yeah, at this point it starts to be uh, noticeable that uh, two people are not getting too much done per day. Don't want to sound mean, Flace is uh, going great here. It's already on construction 9. If I remember this guy from the start, he was a lot worse. Jane is also getting into this plant thing a lot more. She's soon gonna hit level 6. And now we're cutting some rocks for us. Okay. Could finish that pemmican research. Uh, I think. Okay. We're still having those mining orders up, so... They sure won't, uh, won't go uh, bored here. <laughs> so honestly, uh, to sum things up, the biggest challenge about uh, the extreme desert uh, is the beginning of the run, honestly. Like, once you're uh, past the beginning phase, it's still... Well, we're, we're not past the, uh, past the worst things here. There's still so much... Well, bad things about living in the desert, but uh, none of these are immediately killing me anymore. I would say that's the major difference here. But the complete lack of uh, animal life here sure is... quite a thing, you know. So in the long run, I think I want to import some animals over here. 
because I can uh, bring up enough food to uh, sustain these animals and yeah I think it'll help a lot need warm clothes you see But uh, what we truly need are dusters. So, do I even have enough materials for a duster? Let's say 80. Nope. Nope, I don't. Oh, come on. Let's say a little bit frustrating here. Okay, so. Definitely gonna build myself some heater. So I won't be uh, suffering from the outer temperature problem so uh, terribly much. All right, the new storehouses are al almost done. So. The next rice harvest is also coming in, yeah. I'm doing quite fine here. So, let's force a few works here. Flays can work until he's done, right? Right. Power conduits are really important to me, as are the walls. Because I really need that uh, freezer area expanded. I'm expecting so much harvest uh, during the next uh, few days that I really, really want to expand this area. Okay, yeah, he can do that. He won't hate me too much for that. I'm gonna spare him from deconstructing the wall today. That's some work for another day. Now he can go to bed. Alright. So day by day we're slowly getting ahead here. Hmm. I have also the uh, option to just go to my neighbors and buy some uh, cloth from them. Because it's going to be a few days until those cotton plants are uh, done. But then on the other hand, I don't think that it's such a uh, urgent and pressing matter to uh, get those dusters done. I mean, basically I could replace the tribal wear first as well. Oh, guys. Remember the uh, plus steel spear? <laughs> so let's make sure Flace is uh, at least uh, carrying this thing around. Like 10.2 damage. It's so good. Hey, bulk goods trader. Ain't that just awesome? Um, I'm going to force the deconstruction now. And the next thing I'm going to do is forcing the roof area, so I'm clearing, and, uh... Okay, he's already building a roof, because I didn't want to, uh, destroy my freezer zone unnecessarily long. Because the moment something is uh, considered outdoors from, uh, uh, from the side of the game, it's no longer, uh, coolable. So let's see what Shorty has to offer. Another duck. Three of them, actually. Male. I don't want to. Thanks. So, they have cloth. Problem solved. Nice. Let's see. But maybe they have just a duster for me. But no, it doesn't look, look like it. Thin thread double bed roll. Who makes a double bed roll out of thin thread? Dang it. What a waste. Um... 
So, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna sell off that birdmaid. No, not the birdmaid. Um, some of that rice. That's gonna be way more smart. So, I want to have 160 of those. That's exactly the amount of silver I have. Nice. Okay. So, let's do two dusters. So, who's the better crafter? Oh, well, both of them are quite equally bad. Well, I'm gonna assign that to Jane as well. Because uh, Flace is already so much uh, into the construction work, I don't want to be uh, expanding his uh, responsibilities too much. And for her, it's uh, just quite fitting since she's already cutting those stones anyways. Alright, so if I had any settings I pasted them over here. And uh, now for the... Oh well, I'm not I'm not ready yet to uh, move my responsibility areas. So, lacking components... Oh, well, not really. Not really. I'm not done yet with digging everything out here. Also, I've decided to smooth those surfaces and keep those uh, keep this wall here. Okay. Everything is better with light, guys. All right. There we go. So my power grid now is uh, actually quite, quite, quite good considering uh, what I'm doing here. All right. So next dumping stockpile zone for rocks out here. I'm just gonna uh, copy those settings here and paste them over here, and then, well, I'm gonna uh, move the uh, stone cutting table once. Um, the uh what's it called um the the cooler here is uh done for the workshop here i don't want to have the workshop uh up before we have a cooling in there all right can somebody please haul this food here thank you I don't like it when food is lying around like this. Alright. So, the insulation is up to 58 degrees now. Wow. And minus 6. Alright. That's good enough. As soon as I will uh, tailor a few more real clothings uh, as well. Come on, now let's finish those few thingies here. An excellent bird skin duster, okay. So, turns out Jane is a natural. Awesome. Okay. Next step are those components. Tremendous assembly! Okay, guys, that sounds... That sure sounds, uh... Important. More hyperweave. What's up with the hyperweave, though? Um, it was submitted by a machine persona that refuses to name itself. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that, Mr. Rob we're gonna do that, Mr. Roboto. We're gonna do that tremendous tremendous assembly of yours. Oh dear, I pressed the wrong button. Huh. There we go. Place blueprints. I still have everything up for I need for that stuff, so... It's quite good. So, 
So Flaze is immediately on it. Like it. Yeah, wonderful. There we go. There we are. Free Hyper Weave. So I'm gonna force Jane to uh, take out that machinery now because I'm lacking components quite badly right now. I want that cooler done and I want to be able to build another housing area for Jane as well. I want to be able to build some uh, sort of prison cell as well. So there are just so many things that I want to uh, get done here too. Ah, I see, that's why. Okay. So there we go. That That's one uh, storehouse, isn't it? Okay. Oh, we're having another one of our famous dry thunderstorms. So, uh, now it is about time to uh, realize that there is no room in here for this... No, there it is. <laughs> Just kidding. But, obviously, this little workshop is not big enough, honestly. There we go. So, I'm zooming out and, uh... Trying to keep this under control. Alrighty. Or maybe, maybe I'm gonna do something else here. I will be doing the following I'm gonna pull up my uh, base wall like this. And uh, the um, high, the the geothermal energy sources I'm gonna be building them outside my base because uh, right now I want to trim this place a little bit because the basic layout I was planning seemed a little bit too big for me to be to be good. Okay, so I can now delete this zone. Because all the new blocks are living over there now. Oh, look at this! There's scapolite. I didn't. I don't even know what that stuff is, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna look it up later. That's one thing I also love about this mod. I look up a lot more gemstones than I did in the past to see what they're named. Okay. So I think it's about time to wrap it up for this episode. As you can see, we're slowly. Uh, gaining control over this area. The barren rock turns out to be uh, a nice area. Oh. If we leave out the uh, occasional uh, mean things the uh, storyteller does to us, but uh, apart from that, everything is fine. We're force wor first force them both to working so my friends uh, it's time to do the usual feel free to drop me comments down below if you want to tell me anything about this series or me personal or whatever might be the case uh, feel free to leave me some thumbs up for my work or even a subscription to my channel if you want to support me and my work it would mean so much to me if none of these just accept my Thanks for watching this video and spending your time with me. And I hope you come for the next episode as well when we're making some barren rock fortress out of this place. So until then, my friends, take care and goodbye.